Welcome to DrillingContractor.org. I'm Alex Indris, and joining me today at OTC in Houston is Chris DeWitt. He's the Senior Manager for Operational Technology Cybersecurity. Chris, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Good to be here. So we know that ABS recently released a cybersecurity guidance document for offshore and marine operations. How can this document apply to the drilling industry? First of all, it's volume one, and there are several volumes in the series under cyber safety. This document is an amalgam of existing industry standards that we pulled together and said which ones are applicable to marine assets and which ones are most effective there. So the guidance note is divided into capabilities, capabilities that you need to go and protect yourself against cybersecurity issues. The overall objective of the guide is really to raise the security profile of an asset. We think these documents are simplified enough where they're actionable and that owners and operators can use these things now. What are some of the drilling industry's challenges in becoming cyber secure and how can the industry become more cyber secure? The first challenge is uh, getting people to do what they're supposed to do, developing software among, with principled uh, software development activities and uh, introducing a rigor into how we integrate these systems. These systems are complicated. There's, there's remote access that we haven't had to deal with before, uh, maybe in the last five years and now that we're poking holes through the, the networks of these things, we have, to, we have to understand that deeply and know exactly what's on the wire. So I would say the, the main challenge is, is getting people to do things. And awareness is curative, right? So if we can make them more aware of what they're doing and monitor those networks for things that shouldn't be on there, then that's a big step in solving those challenges. What can we expect from future guidance documents? Cyber safety includes uh, cybersecurity, and we've already uh, published the first in that series. Uh, the next one that we're working out on now and is due out by the end of the year is uh, operational technology and how, how you can go manage that. The others are data cybersecurity, uh, software engineering, and we have a, a standard called ISQM and this is a, we'll be putting an overlay on top of that for cybersecurity. The last two are robotics and autonomous systems. We, th we think that that set of documentation is most applicable if we take existing standards and say how do these things apply in our world and then make things actionable. So we're including appendices with checklists and, and things that people can go use right away. Chris, thanks again for chatting with us today. Appreciate it, thanks. And thank you viewers for joining us today at drillingcontractor.org.